Okay, so this is completely unscripted. I'm just going to kind of freeball this. Uh, I know Tom and Rio in their second video provided a lot of good information about what to do against Deathstroke. Um, and I think Lex Luthor has one of the slowest dashes in the game. But we're going to go through a couple of different characters and just test some stuff. And we're not just going to do Deathstroke. I know uh, other zoning that bothers people. I mean, believe it or not, Sinestro bothers people. I don't understand why. Um, Ares bothers some people. Um, I'm trying to think of who else zoning wise. We're going to have a uh, lantern sort of. It's more of a footsy type zoning. Raven. Definitely Raven. I think people are bitching about Raven in some forms, some websites that I check out. Um, I'm trying to think who else. But anyway, oh, Superman. Yeah, people bitch about that. Yeah, we'll explore that. So the deal is here, I haven't tested any of this stuff. I mean, I've just seen Rio and Tom do it. And that whole thing blew up because of a huge amount of miscommunication on Tom and my part. Um, so, yeah, what's gone is gone. Look, one thing that, one thing that did provide, I'm going to load up a match while we're doing this. Uh, one thing that I did provide is, um, I, I guess you could say, Deathstroke. Now everyone knows about Deathstroke and what to do, and maybe if I didn't blow up Deathstroke. Um, illy, you know, like 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 in an ill fashion. If I didn't blow them up wrongfully or whatever, um, then maybe not as many people would know how to deal with them. So whatever, I'll take the hit for that. As long as people know how to do with it. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. Of course, some dark stuff. So, not going back here, let's see. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. So, uh, alright, I'm going to get back to the train. Okay, so, block one. And Snap is going to have one of the best dashes in the game. That has both speed and dive. We can actually talk about this. So, check out the high gun. You can duck the high gun. So, one thing that I know you can do is right here. Watch this. What I'm doing is, see, I, I, or, you can't do this with a low gun, but on the high gun, when you duck it, you can actually, like, trade. See what I'm doing? There we go. You can't do it on the low. I'm going to do it on the low for a second. Where's your disc? It's kind of fun. Okay, so anyway, if you blast it, you can do this. Now, bad day for death. Anyway, so let's go back to the low gun. Dash, dash, dash. Yeah. Yeah, if you leave, if you leave your block, if you leave your block too early, then obviously it's not gonna work. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you can if you can try to jump one of the options, one thing that you can definitely do is here. Yeah, I'm turning down the, <laughs> turning down the uh, game sound. Hopefully that helps. So another thing that you can do if you jump over the guns is if you see that he's about to do like a high gun and you need a delayed attack, you can do an air axe. So I thought this time you're going to do that. Close enough, you can combo it. I'm not going to try to get too fancy I just want to get close. And you can do a little fancy move right there. Alright, so on. Okay, so that's basically with Sinestro. And we're not going to go into death with... No, I'm not going to go... Um, not going to go into too far of death here with Sinestro and too many characters. Okay, so Harley Quinn. Uh, you know, one thing interesting about Harley Quinn here... She probably has some of the best rushdown tools when she gets right near the character. And some of the problems that I have been having and some of the problems a lot of Harley players have been complaining about is they can't ever get in get in on strong zoners like Deathstroke, Raven. Uh, some people complain about Lex. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of zoning that you know people have trouble with. So we're going to kind of use this video to focus on Deathstroke. We're also going to use this video to focus on different uh, zoning options from... Um, you know, Raven, might look at some Lantern, even some Sinestro, because people, believe it or not, get a little freaked out by Sinestro, which I don't understand, but 
Uh, then again, I didn't understand Deathstroke, so record some shit. That's good. So now I'm going to work my way to skip full screen and we'll talk a little bit about. Okay. So I'm thinking full screen now. Okay, so she. She can dash. And then it's bad news. So there's something else that you can do. Um, watch this. If you see a whiff, bro, if you whiff a high, you can go in the tantrum stance. Now, if you cancel out the tantrum stance like I just did, you'll get punished on a shot. But that's when you want to just, you know, commit to your combo. I don't think you can do it on yeah, you can do it on the too. So anyway, uh, something else that you can do, it's kind of like the thing I did with Sinestro with the axe. Um, and I'll even do it further away, like as if you were jumping in and you see that he shoots a gun. And you can actually use that advantage to kind of get in a dash, I believe. Let's try that. Okay, so that's enough Harley. Um, you know what? Honestly, you can do a back four three. Nope, can't do that. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll whip a high gun and see if I can do that. No, she recovered. You're, be you're best just doing this right here. Okay. So let's go to another one. And for those tuning in, um, I'll start the video with Harley because the game sound was too loud with the first character. And I'll just kind of explain that this is how to deal with Deathstroke zoning and other characters zoning and Injustice. Uh, I'm going to pick I'm going to pick Lex because he has one of the slower dashes and one of the largest ass hitboxes in the game. Now, Raven is a character Raven. that some people complain about on some forums. I think she's awesome. I think she's great. She possibly top 10, possibly top 12. I don't know. Uh, it's too early to say tears, but I'll just put it this way. I think she's really good. Um, so, I'm going to go and get Lex back. That'll, that'll help speed up the process here. And then I'm going to program. I don't even know her moves, so I'm just going to figure it out. Okay. One thing I do know is this. All right. So, let, let's just start with the, let's start with the straight projectile. Oh, shit. Let me get back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. That dash is slow. Oh. Well, you know, since this projectile is a little slower, you can you can just walk it and you get hit and punish. But we're going to try to dash it one more time. Oops. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What you could do? Here. You could do that, but the problem with that is she can do the lift. Let's see. Uh, what's her or her push rather? All right, let me do that again. Pushes. Okay. So one thing that I know you can't you can't even do with Sinestro is if she shoots a projectile and then does the crush, I think that's a frame trap. Alright, we're gonna do this right here. Yeah. So you can you if she does two pushes in a row, you can definitely do that. Okay, cool. So um Go to another character. Let's take the Joker. the Joker. And you know what? Let's go back to Raven. Because I or because I want to see, like with Lex, I couldn't dash in between the fireballs. There's going to have to be a different way that I'm going to have to work on that with Lex. Um, probably walk. Um, I don't know. That's something I'm going to explore. So let me get a Joker set. 
and record. Okay. We're just gonna do the fireball test again. I mean, maybe you can't. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Okay, so you saw that. Now, you saw that you couldn't do it with Lex, but you can do it with Joker. And you can do it with other characters that mean. You can do it probably with, like Sinestro. Um... Oh, yeah, you can do it really well. Okay, so we found that out. Now, let's test out the other thing where she does Fireball to. Fireball to Crush. I'm gonna get full screen. I'm gonna get full screen. Is that? Damn it, Raven. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see this. Oh, that's weird. You know what? Let me re record that. Because that might be messed up. Okay. So he will catch you. Well, damn it, I to her. Yeah, so if you dash in that three force range, it will catch you. See, it's kind of a frame trap. You, you can't dash. You, you know, you could walk it, probably be a little safer. But if you dash, then you're just wide open to be punished. Um, let's see what else. Let's look at Ares. Um, you know what? I'm going to take Lex. I was playing Moss the other night. Uh, I played Chaos, uh, Chaos Fear and Moss. Moss, I did pretty well against Chaos Fear. I mean, pretty well. I was, I was happy. Uh, against Moss, uh, I started out really well, and then he ended up kicking my ass. So we're going to take a little look at this son of a bitch. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you some, some things interesting about Ares, too, that makes him so good. All right, let's see. Let's go over here. Let's go here. Jump back. I don't know. That looks faster. Oh God, the blocks on that. I'm trying to dash. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so you gotta jump it. Might take a hit. Oh, let's see. You know could do this. Here? Yeah. Oh no, that's tight. I think you're better off doing that. Now here's the thing that's weird about Ares. And that's probably just Lex. I'm gonna try with different characters too. It could just be Lex's dash, but it's funny to me. You know, I was bitching about Deathstroke, but the funny thing is he can dash Deathstroke's guns, but he can't dash Raven and Ares Fireball. Um let's see what else. Okay. Um uh, this. Okay, so that works. I'm trying to block. Uh, yeah, that fireball and block just freezes you. Wait, what? Oh. Tra Traits got reload. Yeah. God, man, that fireball sucks. <laughs> All right. Seriously, try it yourself. Go do exactly what I'm doing. Practice mode. Fill, fill it for yourself. That's that's hella hard. All right. It's really hard to tell the difference of those two. Yeah, so you can't sure as hell can't do that. So if you jump it, you just gotta jump it. There you go. Look what I just randomly found out. Oh shit. Well, hold on, hold on, let me start. I missed timing it. Oh my 
Okay, you gotta jump mad early. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, here's the frustrating thing. You can't. So if he's got like three or four bars a meter, <laughs> look at that. You can see you gotta you gotta you gotta press back to block. So if he's got like four of these bitches, they're just gonna come. You can jump over. Yeah, you can jump over. Let's see. Oh. This is fun. Okay, that's what you do. That's what you do. Oh, uh, too early. Let's back up again. Try one more time. That's what we're here for. Ah, bitch. All right. So that's what you do. Large hitbox characters like that. If you need to get over the. Um, uh, the the uh, EX one or whatever, you are meter burn one. You just jump, jump, and you'll be there. Now you can't jump over the axe. So what he's probably going to try to do is do like meter burn fireball axe, meter fireball dagger. You know things like that to keep you out. So it's not easy, but just, that's kind of just to show you right there kind of what to do. Uh, let's. Oh yeah. All right. So I want to go back and see if Sinestro, Sinestro. can dash that Arrows. stuff. Yeah, you gotta watch for up axe. I mean, once you get into that range, you could probably just, you know, block and then punish with corpse charge. So, I mean, it's different with every character, but this is just to kind of get people thinking about things. Um, you know, I personally have not had very much time to play this game. So, that's kind of what I'm doing tonight. I'm figuring out shit tonight. Alright, let's see what Sinestro does about this. Dude, that block stun? Holy shit. You guys really need to check that out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This helps to know that this move serious blocks down. Alright, so what he's got to do... Okay, now let's do the EX one. Because the other one's kind of boring. And I'll throw in some daggers and axes and stuff too. How you do his axe? Jumping over the axe, you probably could. Does anyone notice this 15, 15 or 14% uh, overhead? Now, did you guys see what I did there? I want to talk about that. You can meter burn projectiles. I'm sorry, meter burn interactables. You just press um, the interactable button with your meter burn button, and you can take the hit and trade and win by 6% in this case. 
Okay, very important. So you go and just take a second to think about every stage in this game, what you could possibly do with interactables by meter burning. Watch this. Oh shit. Yeah. Watch this. I'm gonna take this hit. Just fuck him up. All right. So I want you guys to know that. Uh, yeah, you hit right trigger and um, the interactable button at the same time. Now, I heard a rumor that when you do meter burn on, say, Deathstroke, Sinestro. you can Sinestro. actually take every hit of the bullets, all the bullets. You know how, like, armors usually have one hit of bullets? Someone told me, and I swear to God, I haven't tried this yet. That's why I'm trying it now. Um, someone said... guy looks like a fish. All right. We're going to try it. Uh, record. Okay. Alright, sorry. Oh crap, get up. They are correct. Did you guys see that? We're gonna do that again. Oh, God's sakes. All right, so now we're going to try it with the other. We're going to try it with the machine gun now. Let me get this. Oh my God, Destro! This is why you don't do live videos like this. Here, all right. I'll, let me get in the way we learned how to get in. Oh yeah, I need to. Didn't know that. You guys want to see it again? I do. Get over there. Dude, you're not supposed to be blocking. Alright. So, now you guys know that. When dealing with zoners like Raven and Deathstroke, even if it's multiple hits, meter burn projectiles takes care of that. And, and that is really, 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 really huge. If you think about it, I think the quicker people start finding that out, the better everyone's going to be. All right, let's take a look at, I mean, listen, you could actually bait a projectile now. If you're sitting by a motorcycle, sitting by this, sitting by that, you know, whatever, you can actually bait a projectile just to get guaranteed 40, what is it, 30%, 20%. I mean, think about sitting right next to the dumpster and here comes Batman. And you got a bar meter, and he's throwing those dumbass bats, 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 and you just wait for the bat, and you throw a dumpster in his face. And you take the 7 or 8%, 6%, whatever it is, and, you know, you retaliate with a 30% dumpster. So, that's awesome. Let's nice. take a look at... What are some other zoners we need to look at? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's take a look at this fool. Okay, so you guys not might, might not know this. I mean, I personally think Nightwolf, Night, almost call him Nightwolf, Nightwing is going to end up being very high on the tier list. Why? His bow stance is amazing, or staff stance, whatever. Um, you guys see this? Ground blast is plus nine on block, and his meter burn is plus eighteen on block, and it's a low, and it's a combo starter from three fourth screen away. I'll show you guys that because you might not know about all that stuff. But anyway, let's get to the task at hand. This is our dealing with zoner segment. And we're also going to see if we can meter burn. Um, you know, so like not every character can throw cars, uh, snow globes, all that crap. You know, 
Nightwing actually like using the mobility of, uh, say, for example, this stage. You can use mobility to move around. So we're going to see if we can meter burn mobility. All right, so do, 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 record. I don't know Superman, so I might script a little bit. Sorry. And for you guys that might say, well, why is he doing Superman? He's not a zoner. Actually, he's got some of the best zoning tools in the game. Okay, so we're going to test this now. Right. I was about to say, is that even hit him? Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright, so that, that, that takes care of that. Now we're going to try um, meter burning. I, I don't know if you can meter burn. I, I couldn't meter burn that. Nope, you cannot meter burn with mobility characters. Not that I know about. Let me switch stances, and we're going to get back over here and see if we can meter burn with this interactive. Nope, but still, you guys see that? I mean, that that did wonders. You see how much ground I covered? Like, say if I'm playing like Superman or Deathstroke, this stage is a godsend because I could just sit there, I could trade with, and then watch this. One move on that. See? Interactable guys are a really good thing for, I mean, they, obviously that doesn't do a 30% for mobility people who use the interactables, but that's huge right there. You might be saving yourself 20 or 30%, maybe getting hit by random projectiles. You saw that laser was pretty high in damage, and you think about Ares who has a 15% overhead EX meter burn fireball, so if you get him to waste a bar to a meter, rather than you get hit by two of them, you know, you could save yourself 30%, whereas the power char characters do 30% damage, you could save yourself 30%. That's kind of the, the, the kind of the way you need to look at it. Um, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the segment soon. This is just, this is just, you know, to show you guys some stuff. Then I'm going to record, like, some Sinestro tactics, um, probably off-stream. I'm going to play some games online, and I'm going to test these tactics with people that I know play strong zoners. So I'm going to wrap it up right now and say, if you guys want me to go in on future segments and say, you know, what, what can you do here, what can you do there, uh, how do you deal with this zoning, uh, I might not know, but I will definitely do all I can to figure it out because the, the thing is, Whatever problems you guys are having are problems I'm probably going to have soon. Um, or I already have them, and I just don't know it yet. So, actually, there's one more thing I want to test. Night, Nightwing, in his second stance, his staff stance, uh, his dash does not go as far, but he doesn't leave the ground as high. But this stance, this stance is fucking awesome. I mean, he's like basically Flash. Um, that might be the fastest dash in the game. I'd be surprised if it's not. Um... Let's see. Let's test some things. I, I want to test this. I want to see how you can do with the staff stance as well. Okay, let's test this. Some stuff. You can also do wing dungs. Wing dings, what are they called? Ding dings, wing dongs. <laughs> Alright. So he's in. He's in. So, now let's check bow. Back up. Let's get hit for a little bit. Oh yeah, he just uncovered the ground. Okay, so we're good. So that's one thing I want to test. Um, what are some other things I want to test? No, we'll leave it there. That's just kind of a dealing with zoning thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to cut the stream off, off for a second, and then I'm going to turn it directly back on, and I'm going to play some games online. All right, I'll be right back. And I hope you guys enjoyed.